to know what is an alternate way of doing this. Hundreds of residents show up to meet with the Texas Department of Transportation at Dripping Springs Ranch Park and Event Center with questions they want answered and to learn more about the U.S. 290 expansion. This is exactly what we like to see at TxDOT. We, this is a community-driven project, and so we want to hear from the community. We want to hear the, the good, the bad, and otherwise. Many are concerned about what this means for their homes and businesses after being informed that the design may impact 13 homes and 82 businesses. Under this proposal, there are some property impacts. We've reached out to those potential impacts and the folks who own those properties so that they can get a handle on, on what we're proposing and why. Our homes in particular, a little section called Polo Club, they're taking 165 feet of our backyard, our septic. There's two trees that they're going to remove that have been here since before Texas was a state. We actually have a, a nature sanctuary in our backyard and a butterfly preserve with you know, the monarchs come in and they're going to clean this all off. Business owners were faced with the same challenge. The four acres of the 10 that they're trying, they're attempting to take is going to kill our equine therapy um, project. It's going to take away the obstacle course and the outdoor ADA trails and our fishing pond. The proposed plan will turn the current four-lane road to a six-lane freeway, stretching 13 miles through Travis and Hayes counties. It would link in with the Oak Hill Parkway that's currently under construction at the intersection with 71. I have four kids, and they're going to have a 15-foot wall that's going to be at a 50-degree slope so you can walk up and down it to a pedestrian overpass. I definitely don't think it's an even trade. I don't think that they're even considering the impact that it has on the community, especially like a small community like Dripping Springs that was 2,800 people. Now they're putting in the ability to move thousands of people from Austin and have them make it a commute route 70 miles an hour with no type of barrier to protect cars from coming into our yard. The project is currently in stage two of four, known as environmental study and schematic design. In this stage, we're still taking public feedback. We're looking at design. Uh, we're looking at environmental impacts that this would have. We'll have another meeting probably sometime in the summer, end of summer. And then we'll have a public hearing, which will be kind of the final chance for folks to weigh in before we get to the point where we're moving toward final design.